Hi, I'm James. I'm from the UK. I stopped because uh, I saw these guys protesting and I find it frankly quite strange that they have to protest here. Back in my country it's not too normal to circumcise your children and I've brought up the subject with a few, a few people back in the UK and generally it's accepted that it's a bit of a strange thing to do. It seems kind of unnatural to me that you'd want to mutilate a part of your child's body before they have a, a chance to talk about it with you. So, I mean, I, I don't really... It's, it's so alien to me that it's something that you actually need to protest about and that these guys are getting such negative reactions. That's, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to and, say about And you it. were just mentioning, uh, uh, before I started filming, that you had a friend that had yeah, it done I, to him when he was a baby. What were you saying about that? I, I had a friend who, who had it done to him and it's, he's, he's, he got quite upset a few years ago. He's, not, he's got over it now, but it took him quite a while to kind of get over the stress because it's, it's part of your body that's just gone. Like other people, especially in the UK, when it's such a common thing to have, to have yourself intact. He's, he kind of felt a little bit betrayed because, you know, he didn't have a choice in the matter. And I think if you want to do it for religious reasons, then it's fair enough. Wait, uh, but I think it's, I think it should be acceptable to wait until your child is old enough to make the decision for themselves. Um, for hygiene reasons, I mean, back in the UK and in Europe, there's no problem with hygiene that I've seen. And if there is, if there is a problem and you need an emergency circumcision, which is extremely rare, then you can have that done for medical reasons, but I think as a preventative measure, mutilating someone's genitals is kind of fucked up. Yeah. Um, Sorry for swearing. Do you know that's okay. Do you know why uh, your friend was circumcised as a baby? He's, he's Jewish, so but he's uh, a secular Jew, so he's. His, his parents, his parents are Jewish, and they did it for traditional reasons. They're not extremely religious either. Um, I don't know anyone who's actually had it done for hygiene reasons, because it just doesn't. It's not really necessary. It doesn't seem necessary. Nobody I know has had any problems. So. And uh, did he? Did your friend talk to his parents or say anything to his parents about it? Do you know anything? He has that spoken part? to his parents, and they. I, I don't know exactly the reaction, but he's told me that he. He brought it up with them, and it was kind of upsetting for him. But I don't—I didn't—I didn't probe too deeply. I don't don't know exactly the reaction that he got. Thank you, James. Thank you for uh, sharing your your story. From uh, where do you live in the UK? Uh, Cambridge. Wonderful, wonderful. I have a friend in uh, Cambridge, uh, Patrick Smith. He's on Facebook. Okay, I'll I'll look him up. Thank you, and have Thank a you. have a pleasurable uh, journey around the United States. I would Thank imagine you. is what you're doing. Yep, that's the one. I'm on vacation. Great. Thank you. Thank you.